picture of Deputy Foreign Affairs Minister Harsha De Silva with his arms around Hamban for the MP Nama Rajapaksa has made rounds on the social media circuit. Can this behavior be condoned? Find out on News Matters. This is not an uncommon picture in the context of a big match. People from all walks of life, from different schools with different loyalties, come together during the big match to share in the camaraderie. It's okay to forget professional rivalries and other differences of opinion and ideology during the big match season. It's an opportunity to unwind and imbibe copious amounts of fresh air and reconnect with school friends and even friends from across the pond, the rival school. The picture of Harsha De Silva, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, putting his arm around MP Namal Rajapaksa, the de facto second-in-command of the Rajapaksa administration, when seen in this context, is not a big deal. Former royalist Harsha De Silva has every right to attend the college big match, just like any other citizen, and share in the merriment and revelry with his friends and foes, this including political rival Namal Rajapaksa, an old boy of St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia. Politicians need not sink into tribal instinct when they meet with political rivals in public. The problem is, however, when they confuse the spirit of the big match with the investigations into bribery and corruption. At this point, politicians must shed big match camaraderie and lock horns over crime and intent to ensure justice. Police should be allowed to take action on politicians irrespective of their party, affiliations and even personal connections with the powers that be. Law enforcement bodies should be empowered to function in a transparent manner. It is this transparency, unfortunately, that is in short supply at the moment. Investigations into large-scale corruption cases, which created serious controversies under the previous government, are yet to make significant progress. Top echelons of the previous government, who came under severe criticism from opposition and civil society over bribery and corruption, are yet to be convicted. Even the cabinet spokesman, Minister Rajitha Sena Ratna, is on record saying that the cases that have made their way into court are relatively minor cases of corruption and not the big fish. The murders of Basim Tajuddin, Lasantha Vikramathunga, the MIG deal and the issue of the controversial Dubai bank accounts still remain a mystery. These mysteries have given rise to the speculation that those who are responsible for serious crimes under the previous government are protected by their powerful friends in the current administration. It is only in this context that the effects of big match camaraderie can be questioned. But for as long as politicians remember not to mix work and play, and for as long as they remember that as public servants they are beholden to the citizenry to see corruption and bribery cases to an end, the more serious implication of pictures like this can go unnoticed. Join us for another segment of News Matters on Friday. I am Royal Raymond. Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. Daily News. Be better informed.